L'Animalada, it's a number of animals which have been built up by, by Sandra, by her company, Katakrak, through the waste, through disposable elements uh, that she used to put it on the street, mainly in square, in festival, in buskers, to let the people play with, the, with their animals. And the aim of this company is mainly to try to let the people understand that waste in our world is quite a big thing that we have to take care about it and that through her piece of art she tried to communicate to people this message. Sandra it, it is able to see, I don't know, uh, a small wheel of a pushing chair in the garbage and she already knows that this is the eye of uh, something that she needs to build up their piece of art. And this way of thinking, this uh, way of being clever, for me is part of the behavior and, and the characteristic of an artist. I came across with uh, Sandra and her work mainly at the beginning through, by chance. Um, when I decided to get in touch with Sandra, she introduced me to different activity that the company Katakrak was, was doing. And I came across also to the animals of the Animalada. And, uh, was such amazing that I kind of fell in love straight away with this piece of art. And uh, the Animalada, the, the work of Sandra, came exactly in the perfect moment for me to, to start with photography with a different a new approach. In the beginning, the idea was to, to following Sandra during her activity. Uh, but then when I saw the animals were so somehow realistic that I decided to change the approach of the project. So actually the idea to came up with uh, putting the animals in their own environment, it came reading the statement of the Animalada. Yeah? So Sandra says in the statement that with this kind of work, she gives back life to this object that people have thrown away because broken or useless. So this giving life to these pieces, these objects, is like a, a light that it, it turned on in my mind and uh, say, why I don't, if she's able to give back life to this object, why I'm not able to give back life to this animal? Through photography. And uh, the only way to, to give back life to this animal, to these dead animals, or weird animals, you know, uh, was to put, in, put it in, in their own environment. Ma por lo más adentro de la isla. ¿Para? Sí, en el centro de la isla. Ahí. Yo creo un pelín más hacia el agua, de la misma posición y ya estamos. Ahí. The old project it took pretty much more than one year since the first picture until the printing of the picture, you know, from 2014 and 2015. Uh, to photograph all this animal to me has been uh, quite challenging because in documentary photography you just you have to see the moment, you have to be in, in the right place in the right moment and control the light and, and take a shoot, you know. It, you, you don't have so much time to control your images while in this kind of photography you have all the time that you need and you want and this was something has been something very new for me uh, because i was not used to and and at the beginning i was quite i don't know i didn't know how to how to deal with it but at the same time this way of being challenging in taking this picture has been also fun which has uh, a strong relationship with the aim of Sandra, the main of, of Sandra's work. It's a very interesting message that she transmits that through the game, through the way of playing, you have a chance to stop and to think about pollution. And this is the clever part of the Animalada from Sandra, in, in my opinion. I don't know if the kids, I don't think the, the, the small kids, understand the message of the recycling relation between playing, recycling, pollution, environment, and the planet, but this is the, at this point is, is the obligation of, of the adult, of, of the parents, you know, to, to transmit the message to the kids, you know. <laughs> 